So this is my primary lumber storage area, at least it's really my lumber storage area within the shop. I've got other stuff in other parts of the basement, up in my garage, etc. But uh, one of the important parts of this area is that I built these racks here, and these are for cutoffs. So they're not big enough to be useful on their own as full pieces of lumber, but stuff that's too big that I, I didn't feel comfortable throwing it in the fire bin. And I always figure I'll use them for some project someday. This huge mess down in the front, that's mostly um, just dimensional lumber. These are all broken down by species. I've got a bunch of cherry, walnut, uh, maple, and I've got a big section of various species that I glued together for other projects. So occasionally, and including on this project I'm doing now, I'll just come in, pull stuff out of here, put it together, and, and see what I can do. Sometimes this starts getting out of hand, and I'll just schedule some scrap projects. Um, otherwise, I just come in here when I need something. So that's what's going on here. So what I have here is some of the stuff I pulled out of my sort of cutoff or scrap bins. And these are all pieces from a bowl from a board or economy bowls, if you will. So this is one I actually did a video on. Um, walnut, maple, cherry. This is one I did not do a video on, but this is sort of more of a chaotic pattern that I glued and cut and then re-glued and recut to try to get as, as many different sort of crazy looking patterns in it. But I realized that uh, as I was thinking about what I could do with these, they might make really cool pen blanks. So what I'm gonna do is mark some of them up and try to cut them in a way such that they'll yield the right size uh, for making pen blanks, but try to capture as much interesting shape and pattern in the wood as I can. So just gonna start playing around with that right now and see what I come up with. <laughs> 